Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Crit. The official Warriors 3 Hopes Twitter account has been occasionally tweeting out some character bios from the game, including the three lords and their retainers so far. Most of this info isn't really different from the versions of these characters that we knew and loved in Three Houses. However, Edelgard's was perhaps the most anticipated for me, considering the prominent change in her choice of weapon and potentially her connection to those who slither in the dark. Edelgard princess of the Adrestian Empire and sole heir to the throne. Bound by shackles both within and beyond the Empire, she seeks a future where she can escape her curse. Her noble and dignified appearance occasionally gives way to anxious feelings. This bio doesn't really seem to deviate Edelgard much from her Three Houses counterpart, so perhaps she is more similar than we were thinking. But for whatever reason, a change has been made to Edelgard acquiring Eimer. We'll just have to wait and see as to why. Hubert heir to the aristocratic family of Marquis Vestra within the Adrestian Empire, he served as Edelgard's vassal since childhood. He shares her goals and will resort to any means to fulfill them. Appears cool-headed, but passion burns deep in his heart. Dimitri, Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. To succeed the throne, he enrolls in the Officer's Academy, although he has other motives. He's brave and honest, willing to sacrifice himself for others, even going as far as drowning his own kindness if needed. The real question is, have the other events beforehand also not changed? For example, what role will the Tragedy of Dusker play within this game, and is Dimitri's future fated to be pretty similar to how it ends up in the various routes of Three Houses? That will be interesting to find out. Dudu, a commoner from the Dusker region, Dimitri's attendant, oft misread because of his intimidating face and quietness, but he's a gentle soul. Loyal to Dimitri and strives to be by his side, but he's worried that he's trying to shoulder too many burdens. Claude, heir to House Regan, which rules over the League of Nobles, the Leicester Alliance, approaches everyone with a friendly smile, but his aloofness shrouds his inner thoughts, rarely divulges his past, seems to harbor a secret related to his birth, and also name. Hilda, noblewoman from the Duchy of Goneril within the Leicester Alliance, sister of the mighty General Holst, Lazy and frequently spoiled by others, but sometimes works hard to assist Claude, who strives to maintain the alliance as Fodlin enters a turbulent era. It's definitely worth noting the note here about her brother Holst, as we've already seen him in the second trailer of the game, so he's definitely going to play a much bigger role this time in this story, as opposed to his off-screen presence in Fire Emblem Three Houses. And there's also a little tidbit here about Byleth, aka the Ashen Demon. The Ashen Demon protagonist of Fire Emblem Three Houses, overwhelmingly powerful, they are the most formidable enemy standing in the way of this game's protagonist. This information paints Byleth to be Shez's ultimate antagonist, but like we discussed last time, my money would be on this being a fakeout. I think it's very likely that Shez has been manipulated by Arvel into thinking that Byleth is the ultimate foe, but the real final boss will be another entity, perhaps Arvel himself. It will be interesting to see if we'll also get different final bosses for each of the routes, and if any hidden routes will also be present within the game or even choices like in Three Houses, where the player can choose to side with Edelgard or not.